It has already been one of Wagner's finest campaigns. Winners of a school record 25 contests, including 16 in league play. The second seeded Seahawks are poised to make a run at their first NEC championship since 2003. Today's opponent, Robert Morris, is the owner of more titles than any other program in Northeast Conference history. Seeking to add to their collection of crowns, the third seeded Colonials are on their seemingly perennial journey to the tournament final. Coming up, it's win or go home for Robert Morris and for Wagner as they clash in the NEC semifinals, and it's coming up next. Myers, right to the basket, loses control, and back come the Seahawks. Ortiz for Rivers, it's a two on one. Robert Morris has got to do it. Martin, the catch and shoot three. Wow, Chris Martin. Myers, the jump pass for Russell Johnson. Oh, and he slams it home. Wow, Russell Johnson just took the ball and went baseline. At one point during the latter stages of the first half, Wagner had 14 consecutive points by way of the free throw line. That gives you an indication of what kind of foul fest we have seen today. To the basket, deflected by Johnson. Russell Johnson, down low, Thompson, the bucket and the foul. Again, when you head out front, if you not, got, it can't be on the shoulders of one or two people. They need four or five different guys to contribute to the score. Ortiz guarded by Myers at the three-point line, gets it to Tyler Murray, who sticks the three. We talked about him, 49% from, from the charity strike for the game. They shoot 75% on the season, second in the conference. Not today. Only at 61. Off the dribble drive. Myers doesn't get it, but then Thompson follows. What a great play. Just again, going to the basket. But the Wagner fans sitting on their hands right now. For Robert Morris, that is their ninth turnover of the day. Tyler Murray, the good look for Orlando Parker. His first bucket of the afternoon. To Bridges. To Velton Jones. And then he pulls up. Good decision by Jones there. Lucky Jones from the free throw line. His first points of the day. Three point play. He's got himself six points. Now, if it's on Myers, and we it believe be it on was, Myers, yes. that is his fourth. So four Colonials have four fouls apiece. Belton Jones to the basket. He is fearless and has 21 points. Well, deep back to remember for this Colonials team. Robert Morris by seven. Karan Williams beats the shot clock with a three, but doesn't get it. The putback, no good by McFadden. The follow by Lucky Jones. He's got his second bucket for four. And Robert Morris has the largest lead of the afternoon at nine. And I know Lucky worked real hard. has two timeouts remaining, and Robert Morris has one. The possession hour favors the Colonials. Tyler Murray sticks a three. With one minute to play. Wagner has cut the lead to 65-62. Get the ball back. Anthony Myers guarded by Marcus Burton. Karan Williams back outside for Myers. 12 seconds to shoot, 36 seconds left in the game. Belkin Jones looking for some help. Then fires up a three and draws the whistle. It'll be a three-shot foul. Dan Hurley off the bench, out on the floor. Outrage at that call. But Belton Jones has done it the entire game. Let's see what we get here. He gets him up in the air. He's entitled to take the jump shot. There's no question. The call's a good call. He's up in the air, and he goes up to take his jump shot and draws the foul. It's on Kenneth Ortiz. He is fouled out. That is his fifth with 29.7 ticks to play. And Robert Morris will send Belton Jones to the line for three foul shots. And as they cling to this three-point lead, they'll need at least two here. Well, again, it, you know, one makes it a double. Danny Hurley needs to be careful. He's out on the floor, still barking at the officials about that call. But, you know, once Ortiz leaves his feet, you lose all credibility for the defensive side of the coin. The offense, he's right there. He's entitled to go up and take that shot. He did draw the contact, no question, but you left your feet. Jones gets the roll. He's got 23 points. 12 of 14 from the line today. 
The winner heads to the NEC final on Wednesday night at 7 on ESPN against the winner of tonight's 6 o'clock game between LIU and Quinnipiac. Belton Jones with 24. Fallahan replaces Burton for the Seahawks. It is a five-point Robert Morris lead. Make it six. 25 for Belton Jones. Here's Latif Rivers. Tyler Murray. The turnaround three doesn't go. Rebounded by Lucky Jones. They've got a foul right away. Belton Jones double team with 14 seconds to go. The clock continues to run. Wagner's Russell just Johnson up finally. gets fouled by Tyler Murray with only 8.7 seconds to play. And the Colonials with a six point lead will go to the free throw line to close this one out. Well, I'm not saying I don't know. And yet his three free throws the biggest part of the entire ball game. Russell Johnson into Belton Jones and that'll do it. Congratulations to the Robert Morris Colonials. They will go to the NEC Championship game Wednesday night at 7 o'clock on ESPN. They will face the winner of LIU and Quinnipiac to compete tonight at 6 on many of these same stations. From Staten Island, New York, so long, everybody.